we don't know what the motive really was at this time, but clearly you have people who do know each other, so it, it wasn't a case of a, of a stranger type homicide. Murder can visit anyone in America, even the rich and famous. On October 24th, 2008, singer-actress Jennifer Hudson's mother and brother were found shot to death in the family home in South Chicago. The body of the superstar's seven-year-old nephew was found sometime later in an abandoned SUV. He had been shot multiple times. William Balfour, the estranged husband of Jennifer Hudson's sister, Julia, was questioned in the killings. He was named as a suspect and held on a parole violation. Violation. Balfour has a long criminal history that includes prison time for attempted murder. Nobody has been charged in the three Hudson murders. Police suggested the Hudson family killings were domestic related, not random violence. So, with at least three women being murdered by their husbands or boyfriends in this country every day, we need to ask ourselves this question. How long can we keep inviting murder into our homes and our communities? Back with me is my panel, Wendy Murphy, former prosecutor, author of and justice for some, Larry Pratt, executive director of Gun Owners of America, and Daniel Weiss, senior attorney at the Brady Center to prevent gun violence. Wendy, let's start with you. What the heck is taking so long to decide whether to file charges against this man? Police say he had a motive. He fought with the wife's family. They've recovered the gun. What are they waiting for? You know, it's so hard to answer that question, Jane. I don't know. I mean, he's obviously not a man of great influence, or I'd suggest some kind of political um, motivation for the dragging of the feet. Uh, this guy is not, you know, a saint. He's got a long record. He could have been in prison, by the way. He had a cocaine charge back in June that he should have been surrendered on parole, but he wasn't. Um, I don't know. I, su I suppose it's that they're lacking in forensic evidence, but, you know, come on. They're holding him. These people are dead. Justice matters. It matters. And if it doesn't happen swiftly, people become cynical about the law. Absolutely. And, you know, Daniel Weiss, this seems to be a classic pattern of escalating domestic violence. The prime suspect here, uh, the estranged husband of Jennifer Hudson's sister, there was a history of domestic violence involving this couple. Uh, Julia Hudson, uh, the sister, told police uh, Balfour had threatened her and her family, telling her he would kill her if he ever caught her with a boyfriend. Now, she didn't get killed. She is alive, thank God, but other people did in the family. So how does the access to firearms increase the risk of violence in domestic situations? The commonality we've seen in all these cases is that it was so easy for dangerous people and criminals to get guns. There's a case pending in the Supreme Court on whether convicted wife beaters should be allowed to have guns, and amazingly, the gun lobby filed in favor of the convicted wife beater. We need sanity. We need common sense. Why can a convicted wife beater go to a gun show and buy a gun without a background check? Why can he buy assault weapons? Why is it so hard for us to pass uh, gun laws in this country when our politicians uh, for years have listened to the gun lobby? Thankfully, we see change uh, and we see progress. We see that states that have tough gun laws uh, have lowered their gun death rates. We've seen the Brady background check stop 1.6 million dangerous people from getting guns. We need to expand that to all gun sales. We need all to right. make sure dangerous people like this let, let can't me, get their hands I on guns. I want Larry Pratt to weigh in on uh, this uh, U.S. Supreme Court hearing this case. Right now, federal law bars domestic abusers from having guns. This is how I understand it. Correct me if I'm wrong. But a convicted wife beater challenged the law. As you just heard, the Brady Center is fighting to keep the wife beater gun ban in place, but apparently you have filed um, to keep to change this law to allow uh, wife beaters to get guns? Oh, yes. We're in favor of wife beaters, absolutely. And the next question, I guess, is when did I stop beating my wife? Now, actually, <laughs> what good, this... Good, good comment. I mean, I, 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 see, involves, I see your humor, but, but it is a, a wife beater gun ban, and well, you filed some kind of... Uh, motion in there. We're first of all, we're in favor of wives having guns, and they're not three times more likely to be uh, killed in their home if they have a gun. That study was actually a government-funded study, and when the government finally got the data years later and reviewed it, they found that 
No, nah, that, that wasn't what was happening at all. What's Come happening, with, what's happening with this case? A, what's happening with this particular case? The I, U.S. I Supreme Court. I want to get to that, but okay, I don't want to let it. things that were just grossly inaccurate hang out there as if they were a fact when, indeed, it's just the opposite. Uh, the, the problem is that when you live around people that are already criminals, that's what makes you vulnerable, and that's when you need a gun. Now, the case before the Supreme Court involves a man who fell under an expansion of the law by the bureaucrats when the law does not say all domestic violence or all uh, misdemeanor violence it simply says those who have had a charge involving a domestic partner those are the targets and the guy right. in question never was charged with domestic right. uh, I'm violence. Giving, I, okay I, I hear you this is you know a condensed conversation on television I, I get your point you're saying that he was not uh, a serious offender okay Th this is a man who beat his that, wife no kicked that, his that, wife get off of that gun lobby get off of that that was not even the charge and, and are, that's the whole we are point coming back in a second with another brutal case stay right there so much more to talk about hot button issue a Met brutally raped and murdered.